I want to challenge the way you might think about home energy tariffs. If you have solar, home batteries, a heat pump, or any combination of these sustainable technologies, this video is especially relevant to you, but it could still apply to anyone with a smart meter. I want to introduce you to a fresh approach to picking a tariff which could save you hundreds. Stick with me for more details. You might think you are already on the best tariff for your annual usage, and that may be the case, but there's a good chance you might be able to make further savings with a simple shift in philosophy. Rather than thinking about your usage patterns for the whole year, instead split it into two very distinct sections. Think of one as the warm, bright season, and the other being the darker, colder season, not necessarily equal in length. I'm not talking about many tariff changes throughout the year, I'm just talking about splitting them into those two distinct sections in order to optimise your tariff to your usage. The reason I say this is usage patterns shift quite drastically between the peak of summer and the darkest depths of winter. As such, what you need from a tariff to save the most amount of money shifts too. For that reason, changing tariff at some point within spring and also within autumn is likely to yield some rewards. This can give you the ideal tariff for each section of the year, instead of having to use a watered down average to define your tariff choice for the whole year. In my case, I'm fortunate enough to have plenty of solar panels, 32 of them in fact, collectively rated at 14 kilowatt peak. But the unescapable truth about solar power is they will always generate significantly more in the summer compared to the winter. This is a result of shorter daylight hours and lower sun altitude. Here in the UK, the effect is much more substantial compared to regions near the equator, and it varies wildly across the world. Where usage is concerned, in the summer months there is naturally less energy requirement. Lighting and heating demands, for example, are drastically reduced. Conversely, in the winter months, especially those relying on electricity for heating, such as heat pumps or electric radiators, there is always going to be significantly more demand. And if you drive an electric vehicle, your efficiency is likely to be reduced in colder weather too, so it's also worth taking that into account, especially if it makes up a large proportion of your usage. The philosophy I speak of is all about tailoring your tariff to those unique needs at different times of the year. For example, in the winter, my priorities become getting the cheapest off-peak rate going, because I know I'm going to be importing a lot in those winter months. Also, increasing the number of off-peak hours is worthwhile too, because that improves my chances of self-sufficiency via the battery, avoiding the need to import at peak rate timeframes. For the summer months, my export massively outweighs the usage. Therefore, those priorities simply aren't that important. Instead, what becomes important to me more than anything else in the summer months is maximizing the export rate from unused solar. The import price becomes largely irrelevant in my case as the solar power comfortably covers all my usage and then some. For others with low usage, a lower daily standing charge might also be a priority. My own strategy for 2026 involves changing from my current tariff, Octopus Intelligent Go, with its seven pence off peak rate, to Octopus Intelligent Flux. It has a much higher off peak import rate of 22.77 pence, but I'll just change my usage patterns to avoid importing altogether and focus on self consumption. Unlike Intelligent Co's attached export plan known as Outgoing, which had a constant export rate of 15 pence per kilowatt hour, Intelligent Flux, if exported at the right time frame, can be as much as 30.36 pence, so just over double. My plan is to switch tariffs around the end of March and then again around the end of September. Why then? Because this is when generation exceeds usage, and then when usage begins to exceed generation once again. You might worry to make the most of this philosophy, this strategy involves regularly switching from one provider to another. But I believe Octopus Energy offer enough choice to competitively cater to almost all user cases. They have been my energy supplier for nearly five years, and I would highly recommend them. That's why I have a referral link for £50 bill credit if you decide to join Octopus yourself. There's a link in the description. Using this referral link helps support my small channel too, so if you do, a big, big thank you from myself. If so far what I've said sounds like pure theory, fear not, because there are tools out there which help prove out this concept. I follow a channel called Tim and Cat's Greenwalk, and Tim from the channel has made a brilliant tool aimed at specifically helping people find the right tariff. It's had some recent updates too, allowing users to save different scenarios and compare them. 
The more usage and generation data you have to hand, the more accurate this tool can be. But here is an example in my case using my projected generation and usage values for 2026. Notice the tool validates my tariff choices and even when to switch. It shows a comparison to if I had used a single tariff across the whole year, as most people currently do. £185? That's a substantial difference, certainly enough to warrant giving this strategy a try. Be sure to remember, everyone's usage and generation, if they have solar, patterns are vastly different depending on your home setup and lifestyle factors. As such, it's always best to ask yourself on an individual basis, which tariffs work best for me? The optimum time to change can differ too. The dates which work for me might not work for you. And that's the beauty of Tim's tool. You can input your very own data and it will show what's best for your specific circumstances and roughly when to switch. So I hope that's given you something to think about and it might even save you a good bit of cash over 2026 and beyond. Do you already have a strategy in mind? Is this something you have tried before? I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. If you have enjoyed this or found this helpful, please give me a like as it helps promote my video to others who might also enjoy it. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.